Hi everybody! Um, I am back with another review for um, you guys. I am reviewing the Oyen hairdo right here. Um, as you can see, it's pretty much gone for the most part. I have like this much left, teeny tiny little bit left. So um, I wanted to do my review on it before it was all gone, which it probably will be by tomorrow. So um, I got the hair due um, this March from SageNaturalCeuticals.com. And um, I know that a lot of people have had luck using it as a leave-in, which I have tried to do um, pretty much the majority of the time that I've had it. And it hasn't worked for me. Um, what has worked a little bit better is using it as a refresher. Um, so I'll get into that in a few minutes. Um, let me just go to the basics right now. Um, the ingredients are pretty simple, no glycerin, so it should be good to use year-round, I guess. Um, it has purified water, castor oil, olive oil, um, organic aloe vera gel, benhentrimonium methyl sulfate, coconut oil, olive squalene, optifin, which is a preservative, acetyl alcohol, and love. Oh, so um. The smell, like a lot of people have said, is like a lighter version of the burnt sugar pomade. I love the smell. It's probably one of my favorite things about the product. Um, I'm trying to think, oh, here's the consistency. It's very um, light, very, very light, um, lotion-y. Not thick at all, absorbs into your hair pretty well. Um, I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to put it into my bun. Um, so... Mmm, I love the smell. It's like IHOP or something. I don't know. But, um, yes, I have been using the hairdo as a refresher. Um, for example, with this bun, I used the hairdo as my sole leave in for my braids last weekend after I um, detangled and everything. And the only thing I changed up in my routine from the past couple of weeks was I used the hairdo as my leave in instead of one of my curl junkie leave ins. And I styled with the Elastic QP. And my braids looked horrible. They were mangy. They were tangled. Even after freshly done, they were super frizzy. Um, not super soft at all. So instead of basically walking around looking like that, I decided to undo my braids early and then just try to um, make the best of the braid out in any way that I could. And even the braid out didn't look good. So I ended up doing this bun. Um, let me give you guys a little quick view of it. Ooh, slow mo. So yes, um, I've been wearing my hair like this um, for probably the last four days. I did the bun, um, I redid it twice, but the past few days I haven't even redone it. I've just been getting in the shower with no shower cap on, letting the water kind of um, hit my hair, moisturize it a little bit. And um, to seal in the moisture, I have been using this. And this works much, much better for me as a refresher than my sole leave-in. Um, I just take a little bit of my hands and put it here on my edges and on the back and on the bun a little bit. And today, um, since this is like five days, six day hair, it's been looking a little frizzy. So I also use the hairdo on these little, uh, these little tendrils right here to try to do make them not look as frizzy and it worked pretty well for that as well um, and keep in mind that this is texturized hair that I use it on and it curls it up pretty nice pretty nice so um yes I've been using it as a refresher um, pretty much the parts that I'm refreshing are all natural um, everything that's not in the bun is what I refresh and any excess that I have in my hands I like pat into my bun like I just did because it's getting really frizzy and it rained all over my hair yesterday also so that increased the frizz so that has been helping to provide um, light moisture for me which is why I think it works better for me as a refresher because um, for my leave-in I need a lot more heavy-duty moisture to get to my hair um, so I think it's twelve dollars for eight ounces I have the eight ounce one I believe they sell it in a 16 ounce I think they sell it in 16 ounce also but um, I know it worked for a lot of people as far as providing intense moisture um, I believe that Tasty Redbone she's like me she um likes it more as a refresher but I believe she likes the um, I can't remember the name but this is a company that makes some Sapoti hair lotion I have that also which I haven't tried yet and I'm looking forward to trying it so I'm hoping that I like that better 
um, my hair likes a lot of the same products as she does so I hope that it likes the Sapoti hair lotion um, when I get around to trying that but um, I, I like this more as a refresher than a leave-in I don't know if I'll repurchase it because I don't really refresh my hair unless I'm wearing it in a bun so um, even though I'm, I'm liking my buns lately I don't do them that often um, I'm more of a you know braids braid out type of gal so um, on that note I probably would get it if it was on sale but I don't see myself seeking it out to get it um, even though I do like the smell but um, yeah so I was pretty surprised that I didn't like fall in love with it because it does have a lot of good oils that my hair usually likes but I guess it was just too light for me I don't know um, so yes I would repurchase it if it was in a really really good sale but other than that I'll probably leave it alone I have um, other products that I think work better for me as a refresher like the um, Kamaza Care Califia Hair uh, Leave-In Conditioner that I think is my favorite refresher so far it didn't work super great for me as a leave-in um, but it does work really really well for me as a refresher so compared to the hairdo that one is superior for me as far as moisture um, let's see I also use the hairdo today on my hair as I said um, as a refresher and um, I use a little bit of gel on my hair today on the back and the sides and everything because it was getting a little frizzy like I said it's on my hair is on its last leg before it's time to uh, detangle again so what I did was after I used the hairdo I applied um, well, while I did the hairdo, I did something differently than I've been doing all week. I mixed a little bit of avocado oil with it um, just to provide some extra shine and to further seal in moisture. Since my hair um, is in need of good deep conditioning, I wanted to um, help combat some of the dryness from that. And then I applied my She Sent It Macadamia Fixing Gel. I love this stuff. This is kind of approaching HG status, quick and in a hurry, seriously. Um... I, when I do do my buns, I do not use a boar bristle brush um, or any type of brush, really. The only brush that I own currently is a baby brush, that really soft little for newborns and everything. Um, and I'll use that if I want like a really sleek look. But um, the Macadamia Fixing Gel gave me that look without having to really do that, um, which I'm really, really surprised at. So, let me see. So, yes, my hair is really shiny, really... Um, frizz free as far as the um, edges and everything go. Let me show you the back one more time a little closer. It's kind of funny. I have like a frizzy bun and like smooth edges. I like it. It's a cute little contrast. But yeah, I really love this gel. I don't want to get too much into it because I already did a review on it and I'm supposed to be letting the hair do shine in this video right now. But yeah, I love that stuff. Um, Yeah. Oyen's products have not worked as amazingly for me as it has for other people. Um, I tried the, the Honey Hemp Conditioner when my hair was fully texturized and I used it as a leave-in and it worked great. And I used it about two weeks ago, um, to detangle my hair and it didn't really give me a lot of moisture. Um, the based on the consistency, I think it might work better for me as a leave-in. So if I do repurchase that in the future, I probably will be using it as a leave-in, um, I do really, really enjoy the burnt sugar pomade, especially when my hair is straight. Um, that stuff gives my hair super shine, and I, of course, love the smell. And, um, of course, the third product that I've tried, the hairdo, um, it's okay. I don't love it, but I do, I do kind of like it as a refresher. So, if I happen to be doing a haul somewhere that has it, I might throw it in my cart just to, you know, get free shipping or be able to use a coupon code or something. So, um, yes, ladies, that is about it for today. Um, I really like my hair today. I'm going to do a tutorial on this bun, um, even though it's super simple. Like, I just really, really like it, and I don't like to use bobby pins. So, I don't have any bobby pins in my hair, and it has lasted for, like, three or four days this week, like I said, and I'm really, really pleased with it. It's super easy. So, um, I think I'll be doing a tutorial on that sometime in the near future. But um, I hope you guys are having a great day, have a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye.